If you're a runner or a fitness enthusiast, you probably know that the Garmin Forerunner 265 is one of the best GPS running and fitness watches on the market. But have you heard of the Amazfit Cheetah Pro? It's a new smartwatch that claims to be even better than the Garmin. It's lighter, has a longer battery life, and a bigger screen. Sounds impressive, right? But can it really match Garmin's legendary performance and reliability? Let's find out. For more information and updated prices about the products mentioned, check the links in the description box below. First up, let's check out their sleek designs. The Forerunner 265 has that classic sporty Garmin look, with a round face and five buttons to navigate. It comes in three understated but attractive colors. A black case with a black-yellow band, a white case with a white-teal band, and a pink case with a pink-white band. The watch case and band are made from durable yet lightweight polymer materials that can withstand sweat, rain, and wear and tear during rugged training. The Cheetah Pro, on the other hand, goes for a more modern look with a 1.45-inch AMOLED display. It also has a responsive touchscreen plus two physical buttons for navigation. In terms of weight, the Cheetah Pro is the clear winner. It's super lightweight at just 34 grams, whereas the Forerunner 265 weighs in at 47 grams. That's a big difference if you're wearing it 24-7 for sleep tracking and all-day activity monitoring. Even during long training runs and races, those extra 13 grams add up over time. The Featherlight Cheetah Pro almost disappears on your wrist. The Cheetah Pro is also thinner at 0.43 inches versus the Forerunner's 0.51 inches depth. Again, shaving off those couple fractions of an inch makes a surprisingly big difference in comfort. The Cheetah Pro won't stick out as much when wearing long sleeves. So, advantage Cheetah Pro for sleek, lightweight comfort on the wrist. Now let's dive into the features these watches offer. The Forerunner 265 has everything you'd expect from a top-end Garmin running watch. You get built-in GPS to precisely track your routes and pace without bringing your phone. There's 24-7 heart rate monitoring to see your effort levels during activities and daily life. The watch also has a sleep tracking option that provides insights into your sleep stages and overall rest. The body battery energy monitor uses your heart rate variability to gauge your energy reserves, and the women's health tracking is helpful for monitoring menstrual cycles and pregnancy. Let's not forget about the stress tracking feature that keeps an eye on your body's stress response. There are also some great training tools like Pace Pro, which offers real-time guidance to hit your target pacing strategy for races. The suggested workouts feature adapts to your current fitness level and training habits to offer suitable routines. Additional metrics like stride length, vertical ratio, cadence, and more provide a deep data dive. And you can create custom data screens to show the stats most important to you during your runs. That said, the Cheetah Pro comes loaded with features too. You get the same built-in GPS, 24-7 heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking, stress tracking, women's health features, and training tools. Amazfit has matched Garmin's offerings across the board in these departments. Where the Cheetah Pro starts to differentiate itself is the fancy track mode. This provides real-time audio and on-screen metrics on your running form, like cadence, ground contact time, vertical oscillation, and more. Having this data handy helps improve technique and efficiency session to session. Nevertheless, both these smartwatches offer handy smartwatch functions thanks to their AMOLED displays. You can store music directly on the watches to listen without your phone, check weather forecasts, view notifications, and control music. These might seem like minor perks, but they improve the versatility of these smartwatches as an all-day smart fitness companion. When it comes to features, I'd have to call this one an evenly matched tie. Both watches provide extensive fitness tracking and training tools tailored to runners' needs. The Forerunner 265 executes Garmin's trusted formula, while the Cheetah Pro matches it and adds a few unique extras like the track mode. But for the core functions, either watch will serve you well. All right, let's move on to what's arguably the most important criteria for any running watch, accuracy. After all, if the metrics like GPS distance and heart rate aren't on point, the watch is useless. Starting with the Forerunner 265, it performs flawlessly well. The GPS precisely tracks routes without any excess distance or weird deviations. 
The heart rate readings align perfectly with the chest strap at various intensities and durations. Whether it's a 30-minute jog or a hard 60-minute tempo run, the Forerunner 265 provides accurate, reliable data. No surprises here, Garmin's reputation for accuracy is well-deserved. So how does the Cheetah Pro stack up? Overall, fairly well in my opinion. The GPS accurately tracks running routes without any significant errors. The heart rate is generally in the ballpark of the chest strap readings. Although the Cheetah Pro may deviate a bit during intense intervals, it always catches up within a minute or two. For hardcore athletes training for peak performance who rely 100% on the accuracy of the watch metrics, the Forerunner 265 still has a slight edge. But for most runners who just need sufficient accuracy for general training purposes, the Cheetah Pro provides what you need. Considering its lower price point, the accuracy compromises seem reasonable. Still, Garmin takes the win for unmatched precision. Okay, let's talk about battery life, one of the most important considerations for any wearable device. The Forerunner 265 is rated for 20 hours in continuous GPS mode, or about 13 days in smartwatch mode. Meanwhile, the Cheetah Pro boasts an incredible ultra-long battery life that varies depending on usage mode. On its GPS accuracy mode, it can last up to 26 hours, 44 hours on automatic mode, and 54 hours in power-saving mode. On smartwatch mode, it can last up to 14 days and up to 45 on clock mode. So how does it live up to these bold claims? Very impressive. Even with enabling the power-hungry AMOLED display and advanced features like heart rate monitoring and sleep tracking, the Cheetah Pro keeps hours. The super long battery life provides tremendous peace of mind. No more range anxiety on long runs or races where you might run out of juice halfway through. For multi-day backpacking or hiking trips, the Cheetah Pro can feasibly track your activity the entire time without charging. This long battery life is a major advantage and one of the Cheetah Pro's killer features. All right, let's recap some of the key differences between the Garmin Forerunner 265 and Amazfit Cheetah Pro. The Cheetah Pro shines for its slim, lightweight design that practically disappears on your wrist. The long battery life up to 45 days in smartwatch mode crushes the Forerunner 265, and the vibrant AMOLED display and onboard music storage add versatility. The Forerunner 265 counters with time-tested Garmin accuracy and reliability. The buttons provide better control than the Cheetah Pro's touchscreen during active use, and the Garmin Connect ecosystem offers deeper data analysis. Both watches have excellent fitness tracking capabilities and training features tailored specifically for runners. The Cheetah Pro adds some unique extras like the running form metrics and smartwatch functions. But the Forerunner 265 executes Garmin's proven formula exceptionally. One other key difference is the price. The Cheetah Pro only costs $229.99, a full $200 less than the $449.99 Forerunner 265. That discounted price makes its advantages like the long battery life and AMOLED display even more impressive. So which one should you go with? Here are some quick recommendations. For hardcore Garmin fans who rely on the intricate data insights, in-depth run analysis, and greater accuracy, stick with the Forerunner 265. It delivers Garmin's signature performance for serious runners. For casual runners who want an affordable tracker with long battery life and everyday smartwatch functions, get the Amazfit Cheetah Pro. You'll get 80% of the Forerunner's capabilities for far less. And for those wanting the best bang for buck, regardless of brand loyalty, the Cheetah Pro is hard to beat. It packs an amazing amount of features into a stylish, affordable package. Overall, I think the Cheetah Pro is the better option for most runners. Don't get me wrong, the Forerunner 265 is an incredible running watch. It has the slight edge when it comes to hardcore accuracy and advanced running insights. Garmin fans may prefer sticking with their ecosystem too. But pound for pound, the Cheetah Pro matches or exceeds the Forerunner 265 in most areas. It has all the essential fitness tracking features at a noticeably lower price. The long battery life, lightweight design, and extra perks like track mode 
tilt the scales in its favor for me. Let me know which one you would pick and why in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Enjoy your runs, and I'll see you next time.